all right guys welcome back welcome in i'm really unprepared for this video um i just got out of the city got on trail in this jungle and i'm not unprepared um guys just whipped out the camera and i had to record just press the record button but you know i got a comment today um about social anxiety and how I might deal, may deal with it, or things I could help. Um, so as you guys can tell, I'm kind of um, frantic, kind of a little anxious. I mean, I had quite a lot of anxiety today, this morning. Um, no sense of calm here, and I want to show you guys that there is. I'm not calm all the time. I'm not peaceful all the time. I'm human too. I have anxiety, guys, too and social anxiety too but first you kind of have to be aware of it so i want to start calming myself down right now coming back to peace and i want to talk about you know today i woke up and just everything was going wrong guys everything everything um my car wouldn't start. Anytime I tried jump starting it, it wouldn't start up. Um, my uh, my smoothie machine broke down. I couldn't have my regular smoothie. Um, you know, my dog had a stomach ache, and he wouldn't eat. I was trying to get him to eat, and uh, everything was going wrong today. Guys, and it was bad. I was just fully in, in anxiety, and well, anxiety comes from the mind. Um, it's only induced by the mind, and this includes social anxiety. It includes um, anxiety in general about things, and. It's a fight or flight response. So for me, I may have drank in a little more too much caffeine, energy drinks, or just onset by certain events. And deep down, I just, I had to kick myself out, come out here in nature on this trail. It was pretty bad guys. I was anxious about everything in the house, getting out of the house, in my car, getting in my car, driving my car. My car is parked somewhere over there, and I don't even know if it's going to start up. Um, I got it eventually jump-started, but I don't even know if I go back that it's fully charged to start up. So, I could be stranded here. I have a jump-start in there, but I'm just, I don't even know if it's going to work this time. But, um, look, I just, for me, you know, a few things do help. Supplementary wise, um, if I'm really anxious that it's disabling me, I'll kind of um, take magnesium glycinate and that kind of calms your nerves, calms the adrenaline down, kind of makes me a little more calm, relaxed, a little more sleepy. So that's magnesium glycinate by innate vitality, that's what I take just one or two of those and I just had to come out and I had to escape civilization and it's it's fair to say that civilization is the cause of anxiety it's unnatural and I had to I can already feel like coming out here in nature has already helped um isolation is key guys and for me civilization does cause quite a lot of anxiety and headaches and all sorts of issues so you know people they think i'm crazy they see me coming out off a trail with my shirt off looking like a monkey sweating hopping into my mercedes or my car or whatever car today i took my suv my camper van because 
I got it started. I was testing some things out and just took it out. See if it'll work. I want to take it next week to um, the desert or something, start camping in it, and just freaking pushing more myself to force myself more and more to get out into nature, no matter how hard it is. <sighs> Things are just going to pull you away from what you really want to do. Like, it was pretty hard for me to get out of the house today, kick myself out and get out here but I know it's best for me to get out here I already feel so much better the exercise the sunlight the fresh air uh, the out of civilization oh so and this mountaintop is sick um, it has a sick ass view and it's so peaceful there's never people on this trail so I have my camping chair that I'm just gonna set up for some doing being as we call it but I'm just gonna ground my feet into the ground when I get up there take my shoes off soak in the Sun and relax but When you're being your authentic self, everyone's gonna give you looks. They give me looks, so, you know, it's normal, guys. You're out of the matrix, you're out of the conditioning. People are gonna uh, stare at you, wondering what you're doing. And another thing that helps is kind of putting the focus back onto you. Social anxiety is kind of like, you're too externally focused. You're too focused on the outside world, what people think of you, um, how they perceive you, right? You're not focused on yourself. So just completely worry about yourself, what you're doing, what you can do. You know, today some guy just randomly cut me off. I was going pretty fast, but you know, and he just cut me off on purpose, you know, on the road and stuff. And just, Instead of getting mad at him or whatever, I kind of just pull the focus back into me and thinking about what I'm doing, what I can do, what I could change in my life, what I'm going to do when I get on the trail here. So, it's about putting the focus back onto you, what you're doing. So, again, today... I kind of had the garage door open and I was trying to clean up the garage and people outside, you know, were kind of looking at me, wonder, curious what I'm doing. And, you know, I'm just cleaning the garage, guys. But they obviously just um, stare at me and that will induce a little bit of anxiety, you know, here and there. But I just focus, try to focus back on what I'm doing, like your objective, right? You know, you're going to have social anxiety if you don't have a clear objective in your life, you know, what you're doing. So, another thing that helps is focus on your clear objective. You know, don't stray away from it and just constantly be thinking about that stuff. That's if you are in your mind, guys. So, obviously, I'm not immune to the mind. Obviously, you don't want any mind, right? You want to be that monk that has no mind. But in modern civilization, it's not possible, guys. There's a lot of things that will induce your mind, kick into fight or flight, your ego mind to protect you and stuff like that. So we're not immune to the mind completely. Ideally, for me, I want to be living, you know, 80% almost all my time in the present moment in peace. So that's my priority. And I do have to live in my mind sometimes, you know, temporarily to, to get out of that situation, right? Until I'm fully comfortable living out of my car 
living in nature by myself and finally cut off from most of civilization, then I can enter that state of just being and being in peace and happiness all the time. So that's what I'm prioritizing, guys. You just have to prioritize that in your life. I know it's hard if you're working a job. You got to make money. I'm really grateful that I can make passive income through my software, but you know, I could easily be one of those people that work a job that I'm stuck in, even though I did try to prevent that my whole life. You have to prioritize just getting out of the, that situation that's inducing anxiety, inducing stress, you know, inducing that state of mind. That state of mind is telling you that you're doing something wrong. You're doing something wrong. Again, depression, anxiety, stress is all a result of us doing things wrong. You know, if we're doing the right things, we're following our heart, following our soul, we won't have that issue. And so, prioritize just following your own path and following what you want, what you feel like doing, guys. You know, our whole life, we're kind of taught to not do what we feel. So when you tell somebody, oh, I just do what I feel like, it, it triggers them. Um, we can't, we're raised, you know, growing up not doing what we feel. Um, school, like if you don't want to feel, if you don't feel like doing homework, if you don't feel like working. School forces you to work, do your homework, right? It's training. All these things are training you to not do what you feel. So, unless you actually feel like working at your job, that job is training you to constantly do what you don't feel like doing. And therefore it kills your soul, suppresses your soul. So, look, I've been doing my whole life, 26, 25, 26 years, I've been going against what I feel, doing the opposite of what I feel, because society tells you to, or you got to be a certain way, your parents may tell you to do one thing, you know, your job tells you to do another. Everything is telling you to do things that you don't feel like doing. So... When you actually start doing the things that you feel like doing, you start aligning more and more to your true self, your true soul, your heart. So you can start following your heart. Because when we are forced to follow our minds and constantly following our mind, logic and reasoning and worry and fear and anxiety too, um, we can't really tap into our heart, our soul, which is connected to a higher intelligence, whether you want to call it God or whatever, the divine plan or whatever, the more and more you start following your soul, the more and more you start seeing coincidences, random blessings come through your, into your life. Things just start working out and you feel at ease, you feel happy, you feel there's this force protecting you, that you're doing the right thing, and everything seems to be working in your order when you start doing what you feel like doing. So, it starts small, guys. It's like a snowball effect. I don't know if you guys hear that. There's like something rumbling going on. But, um... 
it's a it's a snowball effect guys so you know i started slow so i started doing what i felt on small things like maybe i don't know sometimes i'll be like i feel like hitting the spa or hitting the pool or something but then my mind would kick in and be like ah but there's chlorine chlorine is toxic it irritates my skin I just feel like shit after but small things like that if you override your mind with what you feel like doing you if you start training your soul to take take the lead and your mind to sit in the background you know so that's essentially living fully out of your soul If you feel like doing something and your mind kicks in with going against that you got to realize it first that that's your mind you know kicking in telling you these things that's not actually you because you are what you feel like doing or feel like you know you want to do that's you I felt like I had to come out here on this hike that's me, right? But my mind was telling me all these other things. My mind was anxious. So, that's kind of my tips here on the social anxiety and all that, the mind. Everything, it's very true that every problem in this world does stem from the mind, guys. Buddha and all these people, they were right in saying that all suffering stems from the mind. It's completely true, guys. Because when you're living out of your mind, you're living in your heart and your soul, there's no issues. You're just existing in the present, right? All problems are an illusion of the mind. So that's kind of what I want to pass on to you guys. Um, as I'm hiking, I'm getting more and more out of my mind. The nature brings me back into the present moment. The exercise tires me out so I can... Look, when you're tired, you've exercised, you don't really care about other people. You don't care about what people think. You're too tired. You don't care. So, use your energy in the right ways because you won't, you'll start caring less and less and less. Start caring more about what you are doing, what you want to do, your own world. That's kind of like the ideal state of living because you just care about yourself your own world right maybe you find other people that share similarities and similar world or lifestyle but stop paying attention to other people start only paying attention to yourself even if it sounds selfish it's not it just it just means you care about yourself right the most you should care about yourself the most first and it's hard to say because, look, sometimes I feel guilty living, leaving my pets at home. You know, my dog, he's uh, he's pretty old. He's getting like 13 years old. But, um, he can still walk and hike. He's done this hike too. But recently his legs have been kind of getting weak. So, one hike I had to carry him back on in my backpack. So, and he's begging to come out, guys. He wants to walk, be outdoors like me. It's pretty hard to leave him there, you know? But I have to care about myself first because when I care about myself first, guys, you can start caring more about other people and care properly. If you don't care about yourself, you can't care about other people. You can't care about anything else properly. So... I purposely chose, you know, I wanted to go to a different mountain. It would take me way longer. I'd be way away from home, you know. Came here on the shorter mountain just because I can get back and let them out. And so, look, it's hard. Sometimes you just got to leave the guilt, leave that stuff behind and care just about yourself. And start doing things for you 
you know, at least in my life, I've been doing things for other people, pets, my whole life. Uh, doing things for my mom, my family, even sometimes friends, my employees. All my whole life, I've been, you know, people pleasing, doing things for other people. But the moment I start doing things for myself, guys, oh, it's a huge, it's a huge deal, guys. Um, you're selfish. Um, you're crazy. You're you're stupid. You know. So it's like you can never win, guys. Um, that's why, again, I isolate. I isolate. I love my alone time. I like just caring for myself at this point. And as a byproduct, I can care for other people. At least at a better quality than I was before. And in small doses. So, small doses. Alright guys, so enough about the past and all this nonsense that's out of the present moment. <clears throat> We're going to transition here into the present moment. So, we're in the present moment now. Now, I just want you guys to take a look here where we're heading. We're at the top. Now, I'm not totally in the present moment, which is fine, guys. <clears throat> so, we're at the mountaintop here. And then I just want to talk a little slower. Not talk about the past, the future. Let's just talk about the present. Start erasing all of our problems by going to the present moment. Check out those birds. Think they're hawks or eagles or no idea. Let's keep it moving. So. Not a hard hike, just about 20 minutes. The sun is pretty bad, we're going at a weird angle, but I like mountain tops, as you guys know. There's a sort of peace that you get from a mountain top that you just don't get anywhere else in the world. I'm sorry, but Mountain tops are just it for getting back to your roots. Of course, you can be do being from anywhere, um, from your home, or just meditate in a studio, yoga studio. I don't know. Um, as long as you find your way of doing being, um. That's all that matters, and that just means going back into the present moment. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I did kind of disconnect, guys, a little bit um, from consciousness or my more spiritual side. But if you are a spiritual person or, you know... It's okay, guys, that you occasionally disconnect. It's normal. It's a cycle, right? Just like everything. You can't stay spiritual forever. Um, you know, even monks and all of them. They are physically spiritual forever. But mentally, or they may not... You know, they cycle too, so... They're human too. They follow the cycles. So. 
just don't be too hard on yourself. That's one thing I'm learning is maybe sometimes I'm not that spiritual or conscious and you know, it's fine. As long as I just keep trying to get back to that state of consciousness or spirituality or whatever, that's all that matters. And I was pretty hard on myself, guys. And I'm sure a lot of people are. Because for me, I always strive for perfection, both in myself and what in what I do. And that comes with a lot of criticism, self-criticism, and being pretty hard on yourself and beating yourself up for not doing things perfectly. But you got to just learn that it's okay. It's okay to kind of um, not do everything perfectly. Like scuffed, as I call it, you know, sometimes you got to be scuffed, do things the scuffed way. And ultimately, it's not that big of a deal. As long as you come back to the present moment and, you know, get back in touch with that peace and happiness and that scuff thing you were thinking about is no longer a big deal. So dropping importance on things is great. For perfectionists so drop importance you know like one of the biggest things for me an issue I had was um, money a long well not a long time ago but I had a pretty big importance for money because well a combination of my family was they had an importance for money so that passed on to me a little bit and then I kind of took it in and just, I always had to feel, I always felt like I have to be a millionaire or a billionaire or I have to be rich. So I have to have a lot of money to live a good life. A lot of people think that or believe that. That's kind of what a lot of people also are going through. Um, that they have to work in order to save millions of dollars to retire or they have to you know be to have enough money to to own a nice house or even just have a good life that you need a lot of money to have a good life but it's it's not true guys i'm the poorest i've ever been but i'm the happiest i've ever been and the most peaceful i've ever been and i put importance over that now than than money because you you know you kind of realize that money is just a tool it's just a tool to happiness and it's a tool to your awakening and your enlightenment and it's to get you independent right that's what money is for so at one point guys I had like tons of money well you know I'm a fully honest person I don't lie I just tell it how it is in my experience but I had a lot of money at one point I think it was like two or three years ago I had almost five hundred six hundred thousand dollars guys um, but I was stupid so I was not you know in the state of mind I am now I was uh, unconscious, unawakened, and unenlightened, and still a druggie at that point, and all this stuff. So, what happened, guys? I blew it, obviously. I gambled it away in stock options and betting crypto, leveraged crypto, which is like the worst form. So, I lost it all. Pretty much went negative 100. I'm pretty much still negative. A lot so I'm still like negative 100k um, you know I'm pretty honest about these things I have a lot of that but I don't care I don't care anymore 
don't care anymore. I, you know, I can make enough and I can get out of the situation by myself. Um, I trust that I am following the path I am supposed to. And I, I do believe in manifestation. I've, I've had it work for me a few times. And um, thankfully, I do have income coming in one of my uh, software businesses and um, I'm at least break even or even but I'm just trying to get out you know I'm using I'm just want to make money to get out of civilization that's my goal that's my goal so I just want enough money to live independently not have bills not have rent or mortgage and again this is why I'm putting all my savings and all I can into my car and living in my car is so I can be independent. I don't want water bills. I don't want electric bills. I don't want mortgages, maintenance, house maintenance, cleaning fees, HOA. The list goes on. Home insurance. So I want to minimize and simplify my life, guys. That's why I'm doing all this. Then I can make almost no money and still be fine. So in that case, any job, any blue collar, white collar, whatever job can just sustain my life. Um, and if I don't feel like working for money, I won't. I'll take two, three, four months off maybe. If I feel like I want more money, I'll go and get it. If I feel like a 100k, I will get it. So, I'm not worried, guys. That's kind of how it is nowadays. So, I'm going to show you the, the view, guys, here. I'm sorry, guys. This is a pretty bad video. Um, but, you know, you guys do know me. That I just... I like to get out um, everything. Even my more scuff sides. I'm not self-conscious anymore. I don't care if I trigger people, offend people, or I just don't care about conforming. So I'll just post whatever. Um, I started with zero views and uh, I can still treat it the same way. Um, but here's the view, guys. Uh, so, And I'm gonna set my chair up here. I can kind of show you guys that too. Um, and I just want to fucking meditate, guys. Oh my god, I crave like presence, guys. At this point, um, um, I'm gonna sit out here for a good fucking hour, maybe. I don't even care if it gets dark. Oh, I just want to be alone. And um, get your guys, get you guys, if you guys love outdoors or want to get out more, get yourselves um, this uh, portable ultralight camping chair. You can bring it in your backpacks. It's so lightweight, you guys. Um, I'm going to show you how to set it up um, real quick. It's really fast and it's really worth it if you're hiking. You kind of need this, um, cause you gotta chill on your hikes um, sometimes. So, and the mic's gonna go low. So, see how we're doing it. So, uh, it just snaps into place. Okay, so it's just like this, and you, it just snaps into place. So you just shake it up a little bit, and uh, the frame 
itself kind of just clicks everything just clicks like this and uh, takes like not even a minute it's like 30 seconds this is the frame and on this frame then we just put our little chair cover and uh, this goes up here like this and again this is the being chair um, I don't know what I'm gonna name it so if you guys do get a bean chair get it in your favorite color because I kind of got the color that I don't you know I don't mind any colors but get your favorite color and maybe name it too I don't know what I'm gonna name this chair because but this chair is gonna come with me on hundreds of hikes in the future on huge mountains maybe Mount Everest no I'm kidding um, probably could be like Kilimanjaro or you know huge mountains that's kind of my goal but that's the bean chair and like here I just popped it down in some shade or I personally I like to sunbathe right you guys see I'm black as fuck well check it out hold on hold on check like look at this guys I'm like black as fuck um, from the sun but that's the being chair sorry you guys had to see that too but um and it's just nice to sit in Ooh, and it's really comfortable and guys that's kind of it for this video again I'm sorry it wasn't like my other videos um That sort of peace or carelessness or whatever you want to call it definitely this video was kind of different um, and I don't know if you guys will like it you know more or less that's just how I feel about it personally again I'm like pretty self-aware self unaware so how it works for me is I might put out something really good but I feel like it's shit because it's perfectionism or whatever you want to call it, you know. Um, I might feel like it's my shittiest video, but it could be the most well-received video. That's kind of how it is. Like, And then sometimes the videos I think are really good or feel like they're, it's really good. It perform, performs like the worst. and So I just, I don't know, I just, how I feel about my stuff and could not be correct but <clears throat> that's why i like your guys's feedback and how you guys what you guys feel about this kind of content this video or whatever and if you did like it you know hit up hit a like hit a like and uh if you want to sub go ahead but um i'm just gonna sit here i'm literally just gonna soak in for an hour i haven't got to do being in a long time like proper being so prioritize yourselves guys i want to leave you with that and do being just be present be with yourself and sit in silence and eliminate all your thoughts if you do have thoughts kind of observe them because you know you're not your thoughts um you're actually the observer of your thoughts so there's something that's absurd that is observing your thoughts what is that that's you so observe your thinking if you're just starting to go off and start thinking you know like this happens to me a lot um, I'll kind of go on a thinking rampage but then all of a sudden I'll kick out and I'll be like whoa 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 who's the one thinking that's not me that's the mind right So it's that awareness uh, to snap out of it, or you can just observe your thoughts and become the observer. That's kind of um, enlightenment or whatever. It's just you are the observer and you're just being. So again, I don't personally like reading, but 
a lot of people do reference the power of now that it has awakened them i kind of awakened a completely different way just it was kind of forced onto me forced awakening or whatever so i want to face the sun I'm soaking the sun and there's fire ants but i'm gonna uh, get my feet um, into the ground again i do earthing it's called earthing and grounding it's because uh Essentially, the earth is negatively charged and all the cell towers and so the atmosphere is positively charged. So it creates um, when you're ungrounded, uh, basically your feet are not planted into earth, like plants and all this. You're building up positive electrons from especially like radio waves and cell towers nowadays. You're storing EMF and uh, you're storing... A lot of positively charged electrons and actually you can take um, a multimeter you can put your two fingers on the positive and negative you can actually read your charge so I can actually see how positively charged I am and then try putting your foot right into the earth and it will hit go to zero because you've now um, neutralized your positive and negative um, you're now neutral so you're not holding any positive charge. Positive charge creates illness and a lot of stuff. Watch the earthing documentary or read the earthing book. And you'll understand it's almost instant the moment you plant, plant, plant your feet on the ground. Personally, I just did it. But you do notice a sense of immediate peace. And yeah, just it's nice. It's nice to put your feet in the ground. But anyways, guys. That's it, guys. Uh, retarded video. Scuffed, scuffed drip Jesus today. At least we're not depresso expresso, right? At least I'm not depresso expresso drip Jesus today. So, but yeah, guys. Take it easy. Don't be too hard on yourself. And do what you feel like right now. After this video ends, do what you feel like doing. So, look into yourself right now. What do you feel like doing? Go do it. Alright guys, peace.